Today, percussion, we're talking about the heel part section of playing. Using this section of your hands or using this section of your hands. Well, let's see what it sounds like. Heel, toe, slap. Using these three elements, you can find yourself coming up with some really unique patterns. For instance, using those three elements, we also can find you playing patterns like this, African patterns. you can find yourself playing Latin patterns. Or you can find yourself playing maybe Brazilian patterns. Or Samba Caribbean patterns. It's very important to learn those three patterns, slap, open, and bass, heel. Let's go one more time. Open, the slap, and the bass heel. The tumba drum is also another additional to, as you can see, I have three drums. This has a different voice different voice than the quinto. The tumba, you can play several parts as well. Might of fact, the same parts that you play on the quinto, you can transfer it to the tumba. Let's see what it sounds like. Open. Heel. Bass. Slap. Remember, they're using those three elements, bass, open, slap. So let's see what they sound like using those three elements that you just learned. Conga. Conga is like the bass guitar of all of the three drums. This is the mother. I call this the mother because it holds the bass. It's the root of the drums. Well, let's see what its elements gives us using those three exercises. Remember, open, bass, and slap. Once again, open, bass, and slap. Let's see what this brings to us. Using the bass, African rhythms, Latin rhythms, like Juan Waco, it's very important that whoever plays this drum, it's like playing the bass guitar. slap. Sometimes when you're using the bass drum, you don't necessarily have to use a slap. Now we're going to use the full set of the conga set and put all the parts together using that same pattern. Remember, I'm using my slap on this hand. 
I'm using open notes on this hand, also using open notes on the keen toe. But most of all, the root is coming from our bottom. You have to make sure that you play the bottom in. And listen to the keen toe, which is the voice. Now we have another percussive instrument that's very unique from India, the Udu drum. This Udu drum is pretty special to me. It's because most Udu drums that you see are made out of clay. This one here is made out of wood. I picked this up on tour in New Zealand. This is what the Udu Zoo sounds like. How do you get that sound with the Udu drum? It's by hitting your hand over top of the hole, which the sound escape. Udu drum. Now we're talking about the talking drum from West Africa, Senegal. Yes, if you notice the strings on there, you go, what a unique drum, right? Man, I would say a genius. When you squeeze the drum, the pitch changes. For instance, you have your highs and your lows and your mids on here. In West Africa, they squeeze it and come out with beautiful rhythm. Talking drum. Now we're talking about bongos. Well, bongos has been around for a long time, especially for television action. Let's see if you recognize this. Mission Impossible. That's right. But no, you can do more than just Mission Impossible. Bongos are a very, very unique instrument. Different tones. As you notice that it has two different tones. Make sure that you keep your patterns simple when you play bongos. For instance, when I play bongos and it's an action part and a Latin song that comes on, I love to play this part. Yes, now we're talking about the steel pan. The steel pan that comes from the Caribbeans, actually made out of a garbage can. You would not believe it, but a very unique instrument. Follow me down to the steel pan land. 